The keys to a juicy bird is a brine. If you've never brined a bird before, it's super simple. So I have rosemary, thyme, peppercorns, bay leaf, orange juice, orange zest, and what it does is it puts a lot of moisture back into the turkey so when you cook it, it stays nice and juicy. All right, once it's sat for 24 hours, you can take the bird out of the brine. So right now you might be thinking, is your turkey related to Evil Knievel? I think he broke its back, but that's what I've done. I've taken the backbone out and this is called spatchcock. So the turkey lays nice and flat. It helps for even cooking and then you can get a ton of flavor on the skin and save the bones for the sauce. That's the best part of the gravy. Before I cook a turkey, I always bring it up to room temperature. And anytime I work with turkey, I get my hands a wash. I'm gonna smoke it. I'm using mesquite wood. It's a delicious smoke. There's a mild flavor in the turkey, and that mesquite wood has a nice, dark, big, bellowing smoke. So just a few smoke pouches. All right, my friends, I'm calling this turkey the double feature because I'm gonna season half with the Cajun spice and then half with light herbs. Some of my family like some spicy stuff. Some of them like it plain like my mom. So here's how we do it. First things first, for the spicy side, some cumin. This is the backbone and the base. There's some earthiness in cumin, and just like the holidays, it's a big hug on a cold day. And some coriander. Coriander is nice and floral, but it's got some punch to it and goes super good with the cumin. Mustard powder. Mustard powder is basically mustard without the liquid in it, so don't be shy. You'll find it in a lot of rubs, and it's gonna give the rub a little bit of energy and add some flavor to the meat. And chili powder, not super spicy, it's got tons of flavor. So get that in there. And then for some pure, just straight on rock and roll, for some spice, some cayenne. Cayenne's got great flavor, but it also has good heat, so don't be sure, okay? That's gonna be pretty good. <laughs> and that's pretty simple. A shot of thyme, and then not for spice, but a little kick, some black pepper. Cajun. So here's for the mild part. Lots of herbs. This is a Provence herbs mix. So lots of time. Lavender. Lavender is really bright and floral. If you smell it, yo, yeah, it's lavender. It's unmistakable, but it can be a flavor of invasion. So just a few shots of lavender, not too much. Savory and majorum are gonna give it like a steeped herb tea quality. And then da bomb at the end, which goes so good with mild turkey meat that's been brined and grilled, rosemary. Delicious, and that's a bonkers herb blend for half the turkey. All right, so you got one half for a little thunder and then one half if you wanna stay light on your feet. So this is what I like to do when I'm seasoning a turkey. I keep one hand I put on the turkey and then one hand clean for the seasoning. And to get the spices to stick to it, you want a nice shot of oil. It's gonna act like the glue for all of that delicious flavor. So this is what I like to do when I'm doing a half and half. Just stick my hand there and then you just wanna go, make sure you only get half the breast and then sprinkle on, that's perfect. And then lift it up, there's lots of cracks and crevices in the turkey. You wanna hit the wings, you wanna hit the backside of the skin, you wanna get that rub everywhere. Yeah. Those are the best parts when you can get it inside the leg. You really wanna season the bird all over. All right, that looks great. So same with the herb side, get it all over that turkey. All right, so you got half a bird for people who like it in the fast lane and half a bird for people who like it on cruise control. All right, I'm gonna wash my hands. That's raw turkey, and I'll see you at the grill. You might be thinking right now, he's gonna cook a turkey on the barbecue? You bet your sweet holiday I am. So first up, gotta oil the grill. 
Yeah, make sure it's really nice and hot. And then a bit on the turkey. All right, let's do it. You want to hear a sear? Peace. When you get it on and you see the smoke come up, that's a really good sound. And you can hear that popping away. It's really cool. It gets char marks really quickly, so you want to flip it at this point and then just cook it low and slow. All right, check it out. That's perfect. Those are really nice char marks. And then turn it down low, and you want to throw a smoke pouch on it. Because there's nice char marks on it, just keep the barbecue really low, and then trust me, that skin is going to get crispy. It's going to take on the flavor of the smoke. That, my friends, is how you barbecue a turkey. That smells delicious. All right, good luck. All right, sweet stuff is on the table, and look at that turkey! It looks so good! The smoke pouch has died off, but this is really important. I've given it a brine, I've given it a rub, and here's a great tip. You want to let the turkey rest. Wrap it in some foil, let the juices stay in. Oh, my goodness. It smells delicious. All right, as soon as the turkey comes off the grill, tent it, trust me. It looks so good. Give it a little rest. Let the juices come back into the bird. This bird has received more attention than some relationships I know. It's been butterflied, it's been brined, it's been rubbed, it's been grilled, it's been smoked, it's been rested. One thing left to do, cut it up. All right, and I always kiss the turkey with a little gravy. That's tradition at my place. All right, and then when nobody's looking, just take a little piece. Just listen. That is what's happening when I eat that turkey. It's so juicy from the brine, and resting it is really important. Put some char marks, and it cooks quickly because it's spatchcocked. It's just delicious. It's tender, it's juicy, it's got some kick of spice from the cayenne, and that gravy is the perfect vessel for anything, especially a deadly turkey like that. And if you don't mind me saying, that looks pretty cool. <laughs>